So we finally have an announcement of the Nintendo Direct. It's happening on March 8th and it's happening at 11pm in Europe, which is a pretty crappy time. I hate that. It's going to be impossible to do reactions. I'll try my best. But everyone's sleeping at that time, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But in this video today, I want to give you all my predictions, the obligatory predictions video. Everyone's going to be doing this, but I don't give a shit because I want to do it because it's fun to guess and speculate what Nintendo's finally going to do. And this is finally going to give me more stuff to talk about. Thank you, Nintendo, because you've been super quiet and have had nothing this year. It's been shockingly poor, for me at least. So let's get on to the predictions. So in the Direct, it's both 3DS and Switch games. For some reason, the 3DS is still alive. So the first game I have on here is Detective Pikachu. That game comes out this month. And so it'd be stupid not to gloss over the fact that it's releasing. The game actually looks really fun, and apparently there's way more content in this one than the original Japanese release, so that's pretty cool. So I can't wait to see more of that. Detective Pikachu, pretty good game from what I've seen. I think it looks really cool. It's a really weird spin-off, but I'm totally down with it. It's so cool. Next thing I've got on my list, I've got a list on like the left-hand side of this monitor right here. Some 3DS RPG. <laughs> So Nintendo love to shove 3DS RPGs on to these directs. So I think they're going to show off a new one, maybe a new, I don't know, Dragon Quest game. I have no idea. I'm not up to date with RPGs and stuff. So no clue. So that's my guess. Uh, another 3DS RPG game. I'm pretty sure there was meant to be a Dragon Quest game coming out this year, right? Unless it already came out. Because I, like I said, I'm not ahead. I'm not with the times on these RPGs. So that's what I've got for 3DS. And then the last thing I've got for it is new 2DS Colors and by new 2DS, I mean like new 2DS XL, the stupid name. I think, well, maybe get new colors for it. I don't know, but honestly, I don't know what else they could do unless they've got like an actual new 3DS game that they want to announce. And I'll be shocked if they do, but if they do, then okay, we'll get that as well. But I don't think we will. I think it's just that they're not going to focus much on 3DS, or at least I certainly hope not. So yeah, that's all the 3DS stuff I have on this list. Let's get on to the stuff everyone cares about. Switch. So the first game I've got is Kirby Star Allies. It comes out like maybe a week after the Direct. So they're going to be like, oh yeah, this comes out. They'll probably spoil everything for the game because they love to do that. They love to spoil their most recent games for some reason. So they'll probably show off a lot of that. Don't care about Kirby. I've said it multiple times. Couldn't care less. It's cool. It's not bad. It's a good game. But eh. I just don't care, it's too basic for my liking. So next game I have on this list is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. They'll probably just gloss over it for a second, we've already got everything, release date, blah blah blah. Unless they've got like a new level or world to show us, like you know how the 3DS version of Donkey Kong Country had a whole new world in it, so it would justify the purchase of people who already owned the game previously. Maybe they'll have that, but 9 out of 10, I think they won't, which is shit. But they'll go over that for a second. And then we've, I've got Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. They'll probably give us a release date because I'm pretty sure we only got a spring release date for that. So they'll probably give us, like, I don't know, April? I'm going to guess April. April sounds decent because nothing's coming out in April. So April, I'm guessing. April, I don't know, 15th. I don't know. But next game after that is Pokemon Tournament. We saw that there was two DLC packs. So they'll probably show us the second one, which is Blastoise and the two other supporter Pokemon. Can't remember because I couldn't give a shit. It's really expensive DLC and it doesn't look particularly interesting to me. So I don't care about Pokemon Tournament, but we're definitely getting a release date for that second DLC pack. Next game I've got on this list is Super Mario Odyssey DLC, like actual DLC, because the balloon tour and the new costumes, they were really just, it was just an update, content update, but I think they'll go full on DLC this time. And yeah, I don't know what DLC it could be. Well, I know it's going to be Kingdom DLC. It's not going to be anything else. It'll be Kingdom DLC. Don't know what it's going to be. Don't know whether it's going to be Isle Delfino. And then I saw this one rumor that it was going to be Luigi's Mansion. Like a Luigi's Mansion Kingdom. That could be pretty fucking cool, honestly. But I'd obviously want Isle Delfino more. But I already expressed my opinions on Odyssey DLC. I do not want Odyssey DLC because I want them to work on the next game. So, yeah, that's my stance on the Odyssey, Odyssey DLC. We'll probably get like a big release date, uh, like summer 2018 or something like that. That's my guess. I think we'll absolutely get that. So yeah, 
Next game I've got, and it's a game they've already mentioned, is absolutely in the direct, is Mario Tennis Aces. What worries me about this is that this is the game they're highlighting. It's like, you know in the other directs when they highlight like, we'll have new details on Super Mario Odyssey and more. This will be the big focus. For some reason, a Mario sports game, not, not to say that it's bad, but it's a sports game. Like, honestly, you can't make that's such a big deal unless it's like really amazing and it's really revolutionary not to put the game down i think it looks really fucking good in fact i made a video saying it could be one of the best games on the switch this year but that's only because there's no other games <laughs> but no mario tennis aces definitely being shown worries me that that's the one that's being focused on because that tells me that they don't have much else to announce which is a big shame so i think we'll get maybe like 10 minutes of Mario Tennis Aces will get the story we'll get way more story mode information and hopefully we'll get other modes too. I'm hoping this game is packed to the brim with content unlike uh the one on the Wii U, I forgot what his fucking name is. I don't even want to remember it anymore. But that was a terrible it was like Smash something. I can't remember. I literally can't remember the name of that game. Well, fuck it, I don't care. So yeah, we'll get Mario Tennis Aces, we'll both get shown characters, probably a new character that we've never seen in the tennis games before. Maybe Cappy, maybe one of the rabbits from Odyssey, I don't know. They could do anything, to be honest. Or it'd be really funny if they put a rabbit in because of the crossover game, Mario plus rabbits. That'd be pretty funny. So we'll get that, and we'll get a release date. We'll absolutely get a release date for this. I'm going to say June. Um, not only because, uh, I don't know. June just feels right. I'm going to say June. So yeah, June for Mario Tennis Aces. Then the next game I've got on here is the Crash Bandicoot Entertainment Trilogy. So this game is being heavily rumoured to be on the Switch. And I think this Direct is going to announce it coming out for the Switch. And I'm really hoping it's very soon. I'm hoping this comes out in like April, May-ish. I think it'll definitely be announced. It'll be a highlight because, you know, it's Crash Bandicoot. That game was a massive hit last year on the PS4. Even Activision were like, holy shit. We can milk this franchise again. <laughs> so yeah, I think C Crash and Saint Trilogy absolutely coming to the Switch. I think it'll be announced here. So yeah, can't wait to see it. And I can't wait for him to charge full price $60, even though it was super cheap on the other consoles. <laughs> yeah. So next game after that is just eShop games. Uh, they always do like the indie showcase stuff. They'll do it again. Like stuff I don't care about, but it's cool for the people who like indies. And speaking of the eShop, I just... Do not think we're getting any sort of virtual console. I'm just, I'm never expecting virtual console ever anymore. Like, I'm waiting until they show off their online stuff, their online service. I think that's when they'll announce, like, some virtual console type thing. But I'm never expecting virtual console in any direct until we see the online uh, service, which I don't think we'll see here. I don't think they'll even touch on it. And I don't even think they'll touch on, like, Switch update improvements. Even though the Switch eShop is so bare bones. It's just so dull. It's really hard to find games you want to find. Ah, bad eShop. I do not like that eShop. But I don't think they'll update it. Even though I feel like they should. They should give us themes on the Switch main menu. It just feels so bare bones. It still feel like, feels like it's in beta release. But I don't think, they'll, I, I don't think they're going to give us it. I don't think they care about that right now, to be honest. So yeah, last thing I've got here is one big game. And I feel like if they don't give us one big game, then they have dropped the ball. Because everything here is not really that exciting. To me anyways, none of this is exciting. Like, I couldn't care less about most of the stuff here. The most exciting thing here I've got is Crash Bandicoot. And that's a third party game because I didn't get to play it last year on PS4. So yeah, one big game and I think it's Fire Emblem. At first I had Animal Crossing on here, but then I remembered that Fire Emblem was a thing and they haven't shown a damn thing of Fire Emblem. And I don't think they can make Fire Emblem a holiday game. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do for the holiday game, but I don't think it's gonna be Fire Emblem. So yeah, I think Fire Emblem will get like a big trailer at the very end. It'll be cool to people who like Fire Emblem. Personally, I couldn't give a shit at all about Fire Emblem. I just don't care. I really don't care about Fire Emblem, but it'll be good for the Fire Emblem fans. So I hope they're happy. So we'll get that. And speaking of that, that's pretty much everything I've got. One game I need to mention that I totally forgot that just came up in my mind right now was Yoshi. We'll get Yoshi. We'll get the name of Yoshi. Maybe we'll get a release month like July. It's coming out in summer though. It's absolutely coming out in summer. If that game is not shown, then holy shit, Nintendo, what are you doing? So yeah, we'll get Yoshi. I also don't care about Yoshi. Oh my god, I, I sound like such a dick. I sound like I'm just being negative on purpose, but 
I just don't care about Yoshi because it's just a cute T2D platformer. It's basically the same problem I have with Kirby Star Allies, except I'm probably a bit more excited for Yoshi because it looks a bit more new than Kirby Star Allies. So yeah, we'll get that too. We'll get July release date. We'll get July of some sorts. But that's everything I've got on here. I'm just excited to finally see this direct and see what they actually have in store because I'm really hoping they actually do have stuff in store for us. Let me know what you think will be in this direct in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree with anything I said on here and if there's stuff on here that you didn't think of. Even though I think I've gone really basic on the predictions list. I've gone really bare bones. Really expected stuff, honestly. So I'll be surprised if no, most of this stuff doesn't happen. But with all that said, make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. You'll be able to talk to me about this Nintendo Direct when it happens. You'll be able to see updates on if I'm able to do my live reactions to it, which I'm really hoping I am. But it's going to be really difficult because they're making it so late. They always do that with these directs. They're making it super late and it's impossible to record them. You have to be super quiet. So yeah, that's all I've got to say really. Make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube to see more on Nintendo, I guess. Make sure to see more on these games that are going to be shown off. I'll be able to talk more about them after we see more footage. But with all that said... Thank you all for watching guys and I'll definitely make sure to catch you all later.